the saying too big to fail is a myth and it's proven by the current situation that Disney is in. The, the current situation that woke SAW Disney is in is basically they were a company that had become too big. They had become so big they thought they could never fail and then now they're failing in a matter of only a few years. Because really, when it comes to this political ideology they've been pushing in their films, they've been doing it for quite a while, but never this openly. That's the, that's the big difference. It is in 2022, 2022 was kind of what began the downfall. When they openly came out and said they have a homosexual agenda they want to insert into their films and theme parks, yeah, that was really the beginning of the end. That was where it really went downhill. Disney is, they were an example of something that they thought was too big to fail, and now they're failing. They're having basically flop after flop after flop repeatedly in a row. I mean, movies bombing at the box office, the, the, the attendance at the theme parks is declining, uh, Disney Plus is losing subscribers at mass, failing to make any kind of uh, profit whatsoever. I mean, they're they're in a finance, they're, they're thinking about having to sell their IPs now, sell their TV assets. I mean, they're figuratively speaking, they're in this type of situation where they're turning over the couch cushions looking for any extra change. It's that it's that bad. They've gotten that desperate. The CEO, the you know woke SJW Disney CEO Bob Iger, uh, it, I mean really he's to blame when you really think about it. He's the one that caused all these problems in the first place. But essentially, uh, he's not really having the time of his life right now to say the least. They're just desperately they're firing people left and right. They're having to just take all these other desperate measures, move shows across streaming platforms, and even then they're still losing money. Every, everything they come up with either maybe just just is able to break even or just fails. I mean, the, pretty much they were the kings of entertainment. Now it's like everything they put out in the theaters either flops or just breaks even, but doesn't make a profit whatsoever. Do you have a few successes here and there? Yeah, like Avatar The Way of Water. Yeah, it definitely was a success, but now it's become the exception rather than the rule. It used to be where pretty much everything Disney put out was a success with the flops being the, the exception rather than the rule. Now it's the reverse. Now the flops are just the rule and the successes are the exception that's the that, that's the uh, brutal reality that disney has got themselves into they became too big to where they thought they could never fail and what has been proven is that too big to fail is a myth because now disney is pretty much in a, in a similar situation to where they were back in the 80s where they're just struggling financially and just desperate to make money and, and losing money pretty much their finances pretty much any news that comes out of disney regarding financial matters is not has not been good whatsoever it's like losing money in streaming, losing money at the box office, declining attendance at the theme parks. You know, they, they have shorter wait lines because the busy the attendance has gotten so low. And in the end, they got no one to blame but themselves. Because really, when you assert this woke SJW liberal ide ideology into your films, it's bound to happen no matter what. It was only a matter of time. Because really, the uh, silent majority, all we have to do is just keep our wallets closed. And they'll eventually start feeling it in theirs. It was only a matter of time. So anyway, wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.